you ever wondered how magnets work? It's actually quite a deep question that will take us into the quantum realm. So without further ado, let's start. So as you might already know, magnetism is part of the electromagnetic force. And so we have to start with electrons. Electrons go around the nucleus of an atom and they have this property called spin. And it's quite misleading because they don't actually spin, which is a huge misconception that is really easy to believe. But no, they don't physically spin because they're just quantum fluctuations in a field which you can't spin. So, see, we, we have here a Bohr model of an atom, specifically a neon atom, and each we have the electrons here in shells, and the further out the electrons are, the more energy they have. So, for example, these have low energy, and the Pauli exclusion principle says that no two particles can be in the same state. So, for example, these two have the same energy and so they can't have the same spin. By the way, the energy is actually angular momentum, but they can't have the same spin. So, for example, if this one has spin up, this one has spin down. And the same with this. But these actually have different, different pairs of electrons, have different energies, but as these two have the same energy, one of them has, has to have a different spin. And so, no electron is the same in an atom. So in that atom, as all the electrons had a spin and angular momentum counter counterpart, so like the opposite of its spin, they cancelled out, so they turned to zero. But what if we add one extra electron that doesn't have a counterpart, so an unpaired electron? Well, this would make the atom magnetic, basically. So it would have a non-zero spin and angular momentum of the average of the electrons. And so this would give the atom like a magnetic field. So we could picture the poles as an arrow, sorry. so north and south. But if we put lots of these arrows together, like so, yeah, that's enough. This is a magnet. But that's not all. Because then what is this? So these are like regions of atoms in an object, okay? So these individual regions are magnets, but they aren't all in the same direction. So this wouldn't have a magnetic field. So this is actually a, ma a magnetic material, not a magnet, but a magnetic material, just like iron. You can stick it to a magnet and it sticks, because these, these arrows can be modified. If you put a magnet here, these arrows would all look towards the magnet and it would join the magnetic field. So that's why iron sticks to a magnet. So this is an actual magnet and it took forever to make. So it has all the arrows pointing in the same direction and the magnetic field. So remember, these arrows are just individual atoms with magnetic fields because of an unpaired spin and angular momentum electron. And these atoms join either magnetic fields and get aligned and form regions of alignment. And those regions can, in an object can be aligned or not. If they are aligned, it's a magnet, and if they aren't, it's a magnetic material like iron. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. It will help a lot. And see you next time. Bye.